What's going on guys? In today's video, I want to bring y'all a map I made. As you can see here, this is just a kind of lucky landing based map. So inside these buildings, you'll be able to run through there and the zone will be moving. So just stay within the circle. And this is a free for all map. You join up with a bunch of friends, you know, up to 16 people. And it'll be a uh, first to 30 kills free for all. So as you die, you'll be respawning around the area where you die at, and uh, it should be somewhere in the in the in the zone. But sometimes you can respawn outside the zone. Don't worry. You know you'll be right there, right beside it. Just run to it, and you know that'll basically mimic some of the in-game situations where you've got people with floppers or whatever shooting inside the zone. So yeah, basically this is just an overview of the whole. The whole island and that's the area where you'll be inside that lucky landing looking area before we get started if you're new to the channel welcome as always if you're looking for any tips tricks or guides to get better at fortnite you've come to the right place go ahead and hit that like and subscribe to get notified of any future updates now let's get right into it Alright guys, so this is just a bunch of gameplay in this video of being in the map. As you can see here, the zone, this is fast forwarded also on the times 2 multiplier. So this, is, this isn't this is really as quick as the storm moves. It moves pretty slow. So yeah, basically, you know, you're just moving with the storm, you know, killing each other or whatever. And when you die, you'll spawn. As you can see in the background, there's like little coves back there. Those are all spawn pads. So you usually spawn anywhere where, around where you died. So wherever you die, usually you'll spawn right around there. But yeah, basically you'll just be running around, building whatever. There's water in this area. It looks a little dark in this video. That's just how I have my settings. It'll obviously look different with y'all's. I just like to play with a little bit darker. Because the bright ones, I can't really see that well. Yeah, as you can see here, you just keep responding every time you die. I mean, it'll be first to 30. I think here we were playing first to 50, but usually I like to keep it at 30. When you spawn, you get 2,000 mats. So, as you can see here, you'll have 2,000 mats, which is plenty of builds. I mean, if you get a kill, you'll take their mats as well. Got a uh, pump shotgun, I believe, and uh, an AR is what you spawn with. And a flirt fish and 2,000 mats and some ammo, of course. And every time you kill, you get to pick up their stuff, too. I think there's maybe four or five people this time around. But, yeah, I mean, I'm sure with 16 people, it, it could get pretty wild real quick. But basically, this is just a little, uh, a little bit of gameplay and overview of what it looks like. You can see here the storm isn't moving that fast at all. There's some areas where I've got to slow it down. I've still got to tweak it here and there, but any feedback, I'd love it. You know, anything you'd want me to change on it, improve or whatever, just let me know and, and I'll see what I can do. Map was fairly easy. wasn't too difficult or anything. I don't have a code, as y'all as y'all know right now, but whenever I can get a code, if I can manage to get a code somehow, I'd love to put it out there for you guys, but right now I ain't got one. But it's pretty easy. Basically what I did in order for you to respond is I just put a bunch of triggers. I mean, there was triggers everywhere and they trigger individual spawn pads. Really hard to explain. I'd have to make another video if anybody is interested on that. I could show you how to do it. In case y'all wanted to make y'all selves a map or anything. That's basically it, man. Uh, Keep this gameplay going. Y'all feel free to watch. Towards the end, there'll be some rifts. And if y'all, nobody's got the 30 kills, the rifts will teleport you to the front, to the beginning of the map. The storm will move to the beginning of the map. And you keep going. The storms will be a little bit quicker, a little bit smaller. Make it a little more intense. Speed it up a little bit. Here's the big old hill you got to climb up. Just add a little bit of difficulty to it. But yeah, that's it.
I didn't want to make it too high just so nobody sat out top. I know the uh, Zone Wars maps there are is people climb all the way to the top and just start spraying and spraying. And usually in the end game situation, you can just knock people down like that. But I, I, I just know it gets annoying. I wanted to keep it kind of since the box fight made is like going on. Tight and close encounters. Really practice on all them close encounter. Pump and, and AR and quick edits and everything. Keep you on your toes, you know what I mean? I know the uh, recording isn't that great. Got to get a little better on the uh, recording than the... Uh... There's another hill here. You got to go downhill on this one. This is probably one part where I've got to slow the storm down right here. I'll probably do that here soon. It just moves a little a little too quick for my liking. As you can see here, the storm left everybody behind. It'll just go down this hill. That slow this storm way down. And then there's those rifts right there, so the pretty big, you know, hard to miss, pretty easy to get into. You'll hit those rifts, as you can see here. Hit those rifts, teleport you to the beginning, and it starts over. It's going to be a little bit faster this time around. It'll be small. But yeah, that's it. If you enjoyed it, you know, go ahead and give me a like or something. Let me know what's up. If you got any feedback, let me know what I could change about it or anything. Just let me know. Appreciate you guys. Well, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed or benefited from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for any future updates.